Hi, I'm Dave, proud owner of a working peach orchard and big-time supporter of promoting tourism. So why does a peach farmer care about tourism? Well, let me tell you a little story about John and Jane. Hi. They thought it would be nice to take a vacation. John had ideas. And Jane had ideas. But as they talked, they couldn't decide where to go. They knew their perfect place was out there. They just had to find it. Jane flipped through magazines. John started noticing the vacation ads on TV. On his way to work, John saw billboards and heard radio ads. Mostly sunny skies. And once he got there, he talked to his friends about where they spent their vacations. Jane did some research on the Internet, visiting different websites to see which places had what they were looking for. After seeing all their options, John and Jane came to the same conclusion. We, we found, found the perfect place. place. They were so excited, they started to plan their trip right away. After booking their flights, John was eager to line up some things to do in the perfect place. So, he visited the perfect place's website, watched a video, checked out the hotels, bought tickets to a ball game, and signed up for the perfect place's e-newsletter, especially for visitors. Jane called the toll-free number and spoke to a nice lady who told her everything she needed to know about the perfect place. Jane also got the visitor's guide, which helped her learn what theater productions were in town, where to eat, and other things to do in the perfect place. So, John and Jane had explored their options, booked their travel, and planned their vacation. They packed their bags and off they went. End of story, right? Actually, this is where the real story begins, because what do you think John and Jane do when they get to the perfect place? Guess what? They spend their money. They spend their money on their rental car, in their hotel, seeing the attractions, enjoying outdoor activities, shopping, and dining out. They're happy they came to the perfect place. Woohoo! You know who else is happy? The hotel they stayed in, of course, and the bellman at the hotel, the workers at the local company that supplies his uniform, the stores they shop at and the banks they use. And then there's the restaurant where John and Jane ate dinner. And the waitress who served them their wine? She's happy too. So is the local vineyard that grew the grapes that made the wine, the people who bottled it and the drivers who brought it into town, and the peach farmer who supplied the peaches for the cobbler that the waitress served John and Jane for dessert. That's why someone like me cares about tourism in somewhere like the perfect place. Yes, I'm a farmer, but I'm also a businessman, and I can draw a lot of conclusions from that story. I bet you can, too. Tourism creates jobs. It brings in spending. And tourists pay taxes, which means locals pay less. But tourism is competitive. And without the marketing engine that drives it, people like John and Jane will take their money to some other destination, where it'll benefit some other local economy. Let's make sure our local economy grows. Let's feed it, nurture it, help it along, so it becomes strong, healthy, and delicious. Tourism is vital to us, like oranges to Florida, cars to Michigan, or wine to Napa. Without marketing funding, many visitors will find the perfect place somewhere else. Tourism pays for everyone. <laughs>